YouTube, MDK Shady here, and I'm back with another Beyblade Burst Turbo unboxing. This time we're gonna be looking at Kerbeus K4 and Gyanon G4. All right, here we got the Blackstar Blizzard X Gyanon G4 and Kerbeus K4. Here in the front, we get to see Kerbeus K4 right there and Blizzard X Gyanon G4 right there. Top, we got the graphics. Inside, we got the titles Blizzard X Gyanon G4 and Kerbeus K4. And inside here, we got the Beyblade Burst Turbo logo. On the back, we get the stats. Gyanon has nine attack. 3 weight, 2 burst, um, 3 agility, 4 defense, and 2 stamina. Kerbeus has 0 attack, 7 weight, 1 burst, 3 agility, 4 defense, and 5 stamina. And the slingshot stats for Kerbeus are 6 power and 0 speed, while Gyanon has 2 power and 4 speed. Alright, so here we got the parts outside of the box, and here is the Japanese Kerbius, and I'm just gonna be moving the parts up so it all fits into the camera in the shot. Ugh. Anyway, here's the disc and the driver of Kerbius from the Japanese version. So first of all, we're gonna be looking at Gyanon G4, and we're gonna be looking at his driver first, which is Hunter-S. Hunter-S, unlike Hunter, it's not thin. Hunter's main gimmick was that it has this very very thin strap or piece of rubber and uh, Hunter-S is so thick and huge it puts it to shame and honestly I don't like it because it's getting rid of Hunter's main gimmick for whatever reason. Like is this where the extra money for Turbo comes to, where extra price goes to? It looks really weird, it doesn't look like Hunter, I would say this should be just called Extreme S. And the slingshot mode is pretty hard to activate, you have to turn it and uh, pull it. Now it's not like uh, the Jolt which has this little tab that you can turn and pull, it's just the tip you're turning and pulling which is kind of awkward. It does have a lock thankfully, which means it won't be undone that easily. And it's cool, but like it's just getting taller, and I don't really feel that it's gonna allow for more speed. The disc this Beyblade comes with is called One, it's bad, and uh, the layer is Gyanon G4, which is gonna be one of the best for Beyblade Burst Classic. It has these four rocks on the side, and it looks very, very cool. And this has this like little blizzard motif there with all the blue and the white rocks, right? It looks very cool and I feel like it would beat a lot of Beyblades in Burst Classic. Gyanon itself was made to beat Doom Sizer by its shape from the side and I personally do prefer the original design but I also do like this new color scheme. Anyway, now I'm gonna be putting it together and uh, here's a QR code for those who would like it. And I wonder, the original one was pretty tight, maybe this one is tight as well and yeah, it is. It's alright, it's mediocre tightness, but I feel like with some other drivers, you can make it way tighter than it is from the box. And I do like Gyanon G4, it is one of my favorite Beyblades. Alright, now we're going to be looking at the main star of this 2-pack, Hazard Kerbeus K4. And we're going to be comparing it to this TC counterpart, Guardian Kerbeus. And now Guardian Kerbeus comes with this Revolve Driver. And Revolve used to be a very good high tier stamina type tip, but now it's not really that good. Hasbro 1 comes with Survive Dash S for some reason. Hasbro made Eternal Dash S. And Eternal Dash S is basically like Revolve in a lot of things, in a lot of aspects. I don't know why they couldn't just make a Revolve Dash S. I don't think it would have been that hard, especially since they did make an Eternal Dash S. But oh well. To turn Survive Dash S into Stink Shock, you just take that little tab and put it to the other end, and it becomes a whole flat. Wow, it's totally not like Flugel and Survive. It's interesting because it's not interesting. And here we got the disc heavy. The TT one is gold, while the Hasbro one is not gold. And it's been like, what, four years? And I still don't understand why Hasbro's not painting their discs. I mean, in Shogun Seal, every other release was painted metal. I really don't know what's going on through Hasbro's head anymore. Here we got Guardian Kerbeus, and it has the God Valkyrie God Chip because I lost my Kerbeus God Chip. Haha, <laughs> sadness. And uh, the Hasbro one is called Hazard Kerbeus K4 for some reason. 
That's really odd. Now, here in the TT one, there's no sticker there. Well, Hasbro has those green pa painted parts right there. I think those were supposed to be some camo stickers on this one, and uh, Hasbro didn't even try with the details. But oh well, at least they did uh, try to do that. And now the TT one has this little POM side bit right here that can go in and deflect attacks. While the Hasbro one, it's just painted on and doesn't do anything, which is really, really disappointing. It was a very simple gimmick. You don't even have to put POM on it. You should have just done, uh, put a little piece of plastic inside of it. It's really, really weird what they're trying to do. Now, the fact they look very, very similar, I don't know much difference. I can't really see it, in my opinion. I may have to look, af look at it after the video is over, but I can't really see much of a difference. Now, so here's just the layer by itself. It looks okay, it's very, very round, so it should survive. Now, we're gonna be putting it together, so let me just move my TT Guardian Curveus onto the side and put the Hasbro's Hazard Curveus together. And here's the QR code for those who wanted it. And it's very loose. Yeah, it's not tight at all. Loose boy, we're not really tight, and I'm gonna be trying it with a bunch of drivers right now soon to see if it's just survive or is it just a layer. And right now, I don't know, it doesn't look like it would survive that well. I mean, maybe it's round shape may make it survive. I'm putting it on Hunter, it's not tight at all. And honestly, I don't know how to feel about this. It's really loose. Curbeus is really, really loose for some reason. Um, yeah, it's uh, really weird. I'm gonna try putting it on Hunter S, and I mean, it's tighter, not the tightest. But like it is tighter than normal, but like it's still not as tight. It's not average tightness. And I think I'm gonna try putting it on bearing next. And bearing is Hasbro's most tightest driver out yet. And we're gonna feel how tight it is with bearing. And yeah, it's definitely Curbeus. Its slopes are so weak. With bearing, it just feels like an average Beyblade. I don't know why. Maybe the slopes are too short. I, I don't really know how to check slopes for how tight they might be, but yeah, so basically if you're gonna get this, you're either gonna get this for some new parts for Burst Classic, like Heavy, and Hunter-S, and Survive-S, as well as Gaianon G4, because Gaianon is allowed in Burst Classic, and it's gonna be one of the best.